historic connections here are very strong, I believe, with all the monuments. We have more monuments here to the sun, to, to the Neolithic period of our race. Uh, yes. And I would like to understand a little more. Please. Yes, we do have, up to now, uh, up to the Neolithic stage, but we are sure, we are convinced that there is a Paleolithic you know, past under our feet. We just have to find it. What you are saying is very true because uh, of this need for the Europeans to find themselves again. A spiritual need. We've had a Semitic influence for 2,000 years, a religion which is not even European, but imposed on us. Save for what, what, what might be described as the Buddhist influence in Christianity as per Christian Lindner, the as theologist, a, as I was mentioning. As, as I commented, uh, there's two elements of our religion, you see, and there's a, a part of it which is alien that must be gradually discarded. So Malta, in our view, Imperium Europa, will be in the future the ideal spiritual focal point of a unified, the uh, unified uh, European peoples. And in this regard, we are uh, at the moment preparing a film that a Malta uh, has this genetic diary of the white race, you see, here, of the European race, and we're planning, we're doing a film, uh, Atlantis, Malta Atlantis, because we, we uh, have as much right, Malta, to state that Atlantis uh, was Malta, if the Bahamas and whatnot uh, can claim they are Atlantis, I mean, uh, and Malta has as much right. And uh, this is, uh, as you were saying, this is very important because it's at the spiritual and high cultural level that this battle for the survival of our peoples, the Anglo-Saxons, the Teutons, uh, the Slavs and the Latins, all together, this is the most important part of our struggle. It's no use running after the effects. It's the primal cause of our of our decline that must be found. And this decline, it is uh, obvious to people whom you mentioned today, uh, is is in the last two thousand years, two thousand years, and it's at this spiritual level that this de the decline started and seeped down and now today we are at this suicidal urge. Never in the history of mankind has there been a race actively um, uh, seeking its suicide, you see. So Malta could be the regenerative spark for a revival, a restoration, an instauration of all Europeans. And we are very pleased to have you with us mm -hmm. because you know, we know of the importance you attach, Lady Renouf, to this element of the struggle. Well, of... I would like to bring together your ideas on this, as well so well explained to us, with the ideas of Dr. Christian Lindner, uh, talking of the Semitic influences and so on. He, as a philologist of ancient uh, studies, has actually exposed that the four Gospels, the four Christian Gospels, the blueprint for them was the Lotus Sutras of the Buddhists. And I have long thought that the better part of Christianity is yes. its Buddhism. Now he has linked that scientifically with my intuition and found that the, the, the blueprint is absolutely not uh, uh, by chance, it is an absolute blueprint. So that one might think that uh, Saul was looking for a religion that would complement Judaism 
and indeed it has come full circle because it certainly does do now. It is in, Christianity is now in the service of, Christian, of uh, Judaism. And therefore, of course, we do seek something uh, that tells us more about what our own roots are as opposed to alien roots. And I believe that this understanding of the our ancient worship of the sun. He says in the Gevatria understanding uh, that began with the Greeks, that Zeus and all of the studies that they had, the scientific wisdom of our, of our Greek tradition, um, was copied by the Hebrews in the Gematria of talking about their people, like Moses, these figures, were um, used for a Gematria uh, uh, technique. But really, we are actually, even in that tradition, worshipping the sun in yes. the Christian tradition. So that there's no need for the dismantling of the Christian churches throughout our uh, European cities and, uh, and our culture. You simply have to reorient uh, what the Gematria really meant. And it all points to his discoveries um, uh, on his website, JesusIsBuddha.com. And I think there is uh, some link that we can, uh, we can have here that will cause us to see our roots and our real um, uh, feeling for metaphysical ideas uh, in our own terms as opposed to the uh, imposed. The imposed ones from this uh, Akhenatum idea of the mo monotheism, which was clearly adopted by the Hebrews to apply to a, a race, a tribe. Of course, you're going to get a tribe uh, uh, highly motivated as they are and in agreement if you give all of the members the idea that they are chosen. Yes. Uh, rather than the Akhenatum idea that only he was chosen. So his. Uh, his monotheism didn't get very far, but the monotheism of uh, the Hebrews, is, the game plan has gone very far because it has appealed to our um, to a highly motivating idea based on greed and vanity. Now the Greeks were not based on greed and vanity, and uh, our traditions are Greek, and I think we need to return to them. Correct. Uh, I think the, the Iranians, in their way, who carried on the Greek tradition when we went into the Dark Ages, they are scientifically strong because they continued our Greek tradition. That is what we share with them. And, and I would really like for us to get much more uh, information about these ancient traditions that are belonging to us. And I think your work is key, and I think Dr. Christian Lindner's is also key. And uh, I am delighted with this opportunity to uh, bring the possibilities of these things to you and to him, I hope, and that we can see what can be found in this new gematria and new groundwork that could be done here. A return to the attunement with nature as our yes. fathers. Yes. This is a testimony yes. of how attuned our forefathers mm. were with nature. Mm. Uh, and regarding Christianity being hijacked, well, one only has to, mm. to, to inquire who owns God TV. those millions being well, and, duped. And we can say. see how <laughs> following the Judaic principle, our world is being destroyed because we do not respect nature, which our forefathers in their own good uh, instinct did. And we need to return to the instinct of our roots. We, we are fighting this fight. We're talking about the spiritual, high cultural level. Obviously, it, is, it runs in tandem with the political fight, because only a win, a victory in the political field, will give that shell of protection to all this we are talking about. We of Imperium Europa <coughs> are in the political fight here because we are convinced that Malta, which was forgotten by the international enemy, you see, the, predator. the, the predators, the international manipulators, Malta was forgotten. They thought it was unimportant, made a very big mistake because we are convinced that Malta can be that spark 
that will set Europe ablaze, that spark which will regenerate you. Um, and um, uh, I look forward to, to, to interacting with serious people like you are who are in this battle of survival because ultimately this is what is what it is all about. Thank you, Lady Remy. What a pleasure. And also let us not forget on this day when we're speaking of such uh, matters of politics and art that we can do no better than to remember what Wagner said at the time when Germany was being united. He said we need to be emancipated already from Judaic influence in 1870. And he said that if we had art, meaning culture and understanding of our roots, we would not need politics. How and so I look forward to the time when we have our roots and our culture and a leader that protects us from our predator. We will. Our time has come. We are living in Krita Yuga. The Dark Age ended. And uh, on December 2002 um, here, we met at a sacred site, not this one, un 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 unknown by the authorities here, and we launched Imperium Europa. And this is the start of our comeback. European Empire.